I'm sorry. But I will find some activities and I will send them to you as soon as I can, okay? All right. So let's remember. We said Daniel forgot his passport on his last vacation. Use the simple pass, the pass continues, the pass perfect, perfect continues. What do you guys have? It happened. Let's say Houston Airport. Two weeks before a group of us decided to go to Paris to Quebec. Do we have this? Do we have this image in the in in the group? Did I get yes. This All right, let me see. I don't remember. Oh, I don't see it. But you do have it? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Then yes. let's go in, se in, in sessions. And uh, this time we're going to go in, group, in groups of three. You guys can share your answers. Yes? Yes. Somebody has yes. a question? No. All right, let's go. This. Oh. There. Let's go, please. Hello, guys. Hello. Did you finish? More or less. More or less? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Well, let's check our answers. So the first uh, answer is it happened. In simple past, it happened last August at the airport. Okay. Okay. A few weeks before, a few weeks before, we're talking about the past of the past. A group of us decided. Decided in simple past. We put the number that we have a few weeks before is the past of this past. So right? past perfect continue. Had decided. Had decided, yes. Uh, it's a uh, multiple decided. choice. So had decided or had planned or well, let's go for that, only for that. Had decided or had planned to go to Greece together for a holiday. We were waiting. We're waiting. Very good. We were waiting. We were waiting in the lobby at passport control when suddenly I realized. Realized or noticed. Realized or I noticed, yes, that's correct in simple past, that I had forgotten. Had forgotten my passport. Very good. It was. It was quite a shock. I hurried. What? Hurry or take? I took my phone. Took. I took, took my okay. phone. Took, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I took my phone. Yeah, continue. And? I call and called my parents. And called my parents. Very good. Next. Next. 
Where? Where in the garden. Yes. They were in the garden. Yes, that's correct. Next. My mother answered the phone. Heard the phone. Aha. Uh -huh. Answered or heard or had heard. the phone. Simple past. They took my passport or looked for my passport. Yes. They found. found. They found. found. Yes. Simple past. My passport and immediately. Drop or went? Went. Went or drove. That's right. That's another option. To the airport with it. I met 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 them at the information desk. We have had had okay. Not <laughs> before, but I said 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 says we had not said. Said. But I goodbye to them earlier that morning. So this is the past of this past. Have earlier have said. Yes, but I had said. Had said goodbye to them earlier that morning. I. Was running. Was running. Or run. Hmm. Actually, it, it sounds good. I was running, or because of the period. I ran. This guy. Uh, we're just gonna go for run. I ran. I ran all the way to the plane. I was. Was perfect. Was just there. there. Got there. Very good. Got there. The passengers. Where? Where? They were in their seats ready to take off. When they So, so me. Everyone started. Started. <laughs> Very good. Okay, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Mm -hmm. Teacher, in this part, it is also possible if I wrote uh, passengers have been waiting. Sure. The passengers that have. That's also correct. In the previous, in the. Third last one, right? The passengers yeah. had been what is a waiting, right? Had been waiting, yes. <laughs> that is correct. The passengers had been waiting. Very good. Okay, any questions? No. Okay. I need I need more practice. Uh, uh, I think I need more exercises or or text um, to read or or something like that. We're because, going to see more uh, of this. We're going to continue practicing this with the next lessons. So it's okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I want to erase everything. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. And let's go for the next one. One more time. Let's practice. I have here the simple past and the past perfect. <coughs> we did this yesterday, I know. But I couldn't write it down. So right before I no. Moved. Moved. I had lost. 
had lost my job. I I haven't had, had. what had and had. had an interview for weeks and I was concerned. Very good. And I was thinking. Mm, no. We're, we're only using simple past or I, past perfect. I, I have thought, thought. I had thought about going back to school, but actually I didn't want to. I didn't. Didn't want to. And then out of the blue, I I got. Uh, I got, yes, an email from an old friend that I haven't had any contact. Had in contact in ages. Perfect. Next. I have a question. Yes, go ahead, sir. So in this case, just in like another one with quit, why the next verb, for example, here, contact, is not in past Sorry. participle? It is It is past participle. Hadn't contacted in ages. Okay. And quit, and quit is an irregular. Oh. Quit, simple past quit, participle quit. Oh, okay. Quit, quit, quit. Yeah, so I, I think, I guess I had the, the wrong word for for past and past participle, it seems? Uh, let, it, it varies depending on the, between British and English, sometimes there's a couple of variations that tend to be contradictory. But okay. if you use either one, it's okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, it's good. Any other questions? No? Okay, let's continue. Next, complete the rest of the anecdote. We're continuing with the same story. With the past perfect or past perfect continuous. Okay, here's, we, we have them right here. Either the past perfect or the past perfect continuous. And I begin. And it turned out that he had been started. Had started up. Had started up, yes. Had started up. Continue. And he had, he been, had been struggling. struggling. Yes, continue, please. And he hadn't found hadn't found. Continue, please. <clears throat> he has been here. Actually, he had hired. But she had quit. Okay, continue, please. Have been. But she hadn't been able. Hadn't been. <clears throat> anyway, I. Have been looking. Have been looking, yes. Perfect. Very good. Any questions? Well, able is not a verb, right? Which one? Able. Uh, no, it's not a verb. It's a, it's an adjective. Okay. So it counts as a, as past perfect con continuous. No, it counts as a past perfect. 
Oh, oh yeah, Han, hadn't been. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes, that's right. Hadn't been. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's perfect. Able is an adjective. Another question? Next? Next. Yes. Listening and speaking, it just goes to show. We did this already, right? Somebody mentioned that you like, um, that you agree with. Mm -hmm. Life's too short. And someone said, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yes. Do you like any other? No. Mm -hmm. But what do they mean? What does this A expression means? You can't judge a book by its cover. What does it mean? You can judge someone by the way it looks. By the way he or she looks, right? Yes. Perfect. What about uh, B, life's too short. What does that mean? No ideas. Well, maybe that you need to enjoy because maybe something can happen to you, like dying. You only have once. That what? pass very quickly. <clears throat> okay, very good. What do you think B means? You've got to stop and smell the roses. What do you think that means? Maybe that you need to stop and, well, take a look into the good things that happened to you. Very nice. Everybody else agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Uh, we must to find only the positive things that happen in our lives and not don't stop in negative things. Just Very continue. Good. When we use a model, we don't use the, uh, the preposition too. For example, with must, we say we must study, we must work without the two. Okay. And what about C? Truth is stranger than fiction. What does that mean? Well, that real events sometimes are stranger than the things someone came up with those well with a story i mean okay thank you hermano. well now we're going to listen and say how will each story end ready page 33 page 33 three listening and speaking it just goes to show b Listen to three stories. How will each story end? Number the sayings above, one through three. Conversation one. So, how are you doing? You were sick the last time I saw you. Oh, I'm fine now. Thanks. It was awful, though. I ended up staying in bed for three whole days. I was just so exhausted because I'd been doing too much. You're always doing too much. I know, I know. But I had all those exams, so I'd been studying every night. And on top of that, I'd been training for a track meet and doing some volunteering and everything. So, have you caught up on everything now? Well, I have a paper to turn in, but, you know, I've learned my lesson. I'm not taking on so much next semester. You can't do everything, I guess. And, you know... Conversation 2 Yeah... There was this girl in our class who didn't seem at all friendly. I don't know, she always seemed a bit cold and not very friendly. Not the kind of person I'd hang out with. Yeah? And I'd never really spoken to her or anything. And anyway, I was out of school for a week. My parents had been planning this trip to Mexico, and they'd asked me to go along. So, of course... Well, of course you went. And so I'd missed a lot of classes... And I'd fallen behind on everything. Oh, and it's always hard to catch up on stuff. It is. But you know what? While I was away, this girl had saved all the handouts and notes for me. The whole week. 
So, yeah, she helped me catch up on everything. It just goes to show. Conversation 3 I heard you quit college. Is that true? Yeah, partway through my second year. My parents were furious, of course. They thought I was throwing my life away. But I'd been struggling the whole year, and I just knew it wasn't for me. Well, you're not the only one. I mean, I've heard a lot of stories about people who quit school, and they go on to do some amazing things. It's true. And I'd been getting sick, you know, from all the worry about exams and everything, and it was affecting my grades. And actually, I just knew I wanted to do my own thing. So what have you been doing? Well, I've been working for this local theater. I'd only been out of school for a few weeks when the job came up, and I just love it. So, yeah, you have to follow your dream. There's no point wasting time doing things just because people expect you to do them. All right, guys. So what we had there are the three stories, and the three stories didn't finish. We have to pick one of these sentences to finish each story. What do you think is the end of story number one? We're going to select some of the letters, A, B, C, or D. Yes, one of these. Okay. I think the first one is letter A. Letter A, that mm -hmm. will be number one. Number two. Letter D. 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 Number three. I think that number three is letter D and two letter B. And two letter B, two. Like that? Yes. Okay, what about C? No answer. Um, Only three stories, right? Yes. Only three. <laughs> All right. Now, check again. I mean, listen again and check your answers. All right? Page 33. 3. Listening and speaking. It just goes to show. B. Listen to three stories. How will each story end? Number the sayings above, 1 through 3. Conversation 1. So, how are you doing? You were sick the last time I saw you. Oh, I'm fine now. Thanks. It was awful, though. I ended up staying in bed for three whole days. I was just so exhausted because I'd been doing too much. You're always doing too much. I know, I know. But I had all those exams, so I'd been studying every night. And on top of that, I'd been training for a track meet and doing some volunteering and everything. So, have you caught up on everything now? Well, I have a paper to turn in, but, you know, I've learned my lesson. I'm not taking on so much next semester. You can't do everything, I guess. And, you know. Conversation 2 Yeah, there was this girl in our class who didn't seem at all friendly. I don't know, she always seemed a bit cold and not very friendly. Not the kind of person I'd hang out with. Yeah? And I'd never really spoken to her or anything. And anyway, I was out of school for a week. My parents had been planning this trip to Mexico, and they'd asked me to go along. So, of course... Well, of course you went. And so I'd missed a lot of classes, and I'd fallen behind on everything. Oh, and it's always hard to catch up on stuff. It is. But you know what? While I was away, this girl had saved all the handouts and notes for me. The whole week. So, yeah, she helped me catch up on everything. It just goes to show... Conversation 3. I heard you quit college. Is that true? Yeah, partway through my second year. My parents were furious, of course. 
They thought I was throwing my life away. But I'd been struggling the whole year, and I just knew it wasn't for me. Well, you're not the only one. I mean, I've heard a lot of stories about people who quit school, and they go on to do some amazing things. It's true. And I'd been getting sick, you know, from all the worry about exams and everything, and it was affecting my grades. And actually, I just knew I wanted to do my own thing. So what have you been doing? Well, I've been working for this local theater. I'd only been out of school for a few weeks when the job came up, and I just love it. So, yeah, you have to follow your dream. There's no point wasting time doing things just because people expect you to do them. Okay. Are your answers still the same? No, I'm going to change. Uh, the first story is letter B and the second letter A. I so. think the, the letter, the, the three, third story is the letter C. And like that. And this one, erase. Just like that. Well, I, I think. Please, I whether... think the the number the the number two the story number two is it's letter D. Do you think this is number two? Mm, yes, <laughs> but I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. No, I think it's letter. Um, I mean three. All right, you listen three. to the full no, conversation two. and check your answers. Page thirty-three. Three, listening and speaking. It just goes to show. C, listen and check your answers. Conversation one. So how are you doing? You were sick the last time I saw you. Oh, I'm fine now, thanks. It was awful though. I ended up staying in bed for three whole days. I was just so exhausted because I'd been doing too much. You're always doing too much. I know, I know. But I had all those exams, so I'd been studying every night. And on top of that, I'd been training for a track meet and doing some volunteering and everything. So, have you caught up on everything now? Well, I have a paper to turn in, but, you know, I've learned my <coughs> lesson. I'm not taking on so much next semester. You can't do everything, I guess. And, you know... You've got to stop and smell the roses. Conversation two. Yeah, there was this girl in our class who didn't seem at all friendly. I don't know, she always seemed a bit cold and not very friendly. Not the kind of person I'd hang out with. Yeah? And I'd never really spoken to her or anything. And anyway, I was out of school for a week. My parents had been planning this trip to Mexico, and they'd asked me to go along. So, of course... Well, of course you went. And so I'd missed a lot of classes, and I'd fallen behind on everything. Oh, and it's always hard to catch up on stuff. It is. But you know what? While I was away, this girl had saved all the handouts and notes for me. The whole week. So, yeah, she helped me catch up on everything. It just goes to show, you can't judge a book by its cover. Conversation three. I heard you quit college. Is that true? Yeah, partway through my second year. My parents were furious, of course. They thought I was throwing my life away. But I'd been struggling the whole year, and I just knew it wasn't for me. Well, you're not the only one. I mean, I've heard a lot of stories about people who quit school, and they go on to do some amazing things. It's true. And I'd been getting sick, you know, from all the worry about exams and everything, and it was affecting my grades. And actually, I just knew I wanted to do my own thing. So what have you been doing? Well, I've been working for this local theater. I'd only been out of school for a few weeks when the job came up, and I just love it. So, yeah, you have to follow your dream. There's no point wasting time doing things just because people expect you to do them.
Life's too short. All right, guys. So the answers are one. Letter D is number three. Letter number three is letter D. Yes. And this number two? No. That's no? correct. Four, number three. So just like that. Perfect. Good job. Did you notice that the, all the stories are packed with simple past, past perfect, and past perfect continuous? Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Next. Take turns telling about an important life lesson you've learned. This is only an example. I've learned to think positively. In high school, I've been applying to lots of different colleges, but, okay, all we have to do is share an important life lesson that you guys have learned. Of three. There. And again, all you have to do is share your life lesson. Okay. Remember to try, try and implement the past perfect, the past perfect continuous, and all the rest. Was it complicated? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. We need to practice a little more. That's it. Now, yes. this activity was before this. These next slides are homework. And all of this, I'm sending it to the WhatsApp group. And they are there now. We have the grammar chart. Yes, about the time expressions with the past perfect. We have complete the sentences with appropriate time expressions in the box. These two. And write five to 10 sentences about an interesting experience you've had. Use the past perfect and a time expression. And this will be your example. Last week, I went to a new club. Yes. Last week is for simple past. All of my friends had already been there, but I hadn't. This is the past of the past. Or this event or this uh, information all my friends had been there, but I had it. It's about before last week. And that's why we use. Oh my God. Perfect. before last week. And that's why we use the past perfect. Already had been there. And I hadn't. Why do we use hadn't here? Because it's connected to this tense right there. Anyway. This will be the homework, okay? Four slides. Did you see them? Yes. Yes? Great. Yes. I will um, look for more examples and more uh, worksheets to send you, okay? Mm -hmm. But the next lessons, we have more of this. And this is it. Okay, then let me find another one. Let's go for the next one. Yes, this one. Can you read, Daniela, please? Yeah. Uh, online footprints. Footprints. Reading. Prepare 
prepare. Guess the meanings of online footprint and digitally direct. Great. Now we're going to start a class about reading. Now to start the class, I wanted to ask you to guess the meaning. What is online footprint? Guys? Mm. What do you think it is? Digital or virtual footprint? Like logo or? A logo? Mark or mark? And what is digital dirt? Well, it sounds like spam to me. Spam? Okay. Yeah. Very good. So online footprints is a logo. And digital dirt is a spam. Is that what you think? Okay. We're going to read an article, and what we have to do is find out what the article says online footprint is and digital dirt is. Yes? All right. The article is right here. Now, we need to do it rather quickly. So let's see if you can find the answer in only one minute. Let me set my clock. And one minute and go. Oh, this is not the one. There. All right, time's up. Where is it? What is the online footprint? Uh, the things that we upload to internet or our social. Can you type your answer on, on the screen, please? Okay. You can see it? No, you will need to click out of the box so we can see it. Out of the box. Yeah, with your mouse, just click anywhere else in the screen. Okay. Mm. No, no. No can do. Mm. Oh, let me give me a minute. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> can you see what I wrote? Yeah, ah, but there you are. There you are. The digital material that we share on the internet. On the internet. Okay. Great. What about digital dirt? What is digital dirt? Mm. Don't remember? No. No, let's oh, look at the People oh, that uh, we don't have to take any contact. Some what? friends that I, I wrote friends and we type? want to block them. Can you type your answer? Mm. 
Now, not yet. Okay. Are you trying to write something, Valerie? No. no? That's it. I think so. All right. Let's find digital dirt and online footprint. Let's look for online footprint. Where is online footprint? Guys, where is online footprint? Well, I think this the content you post online each time you you post a photo or or comment or write a profile online you create an image or online footprint. Can you highlight it, please? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Each time you post a photo or comment or write a profile online, you create an image. Ah, so then what is the answer to what is online footprint? Is it the digital material that we share on the internet? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe it's, it's part of it. It's part of it? Well, actually what the article says is the content you post online, the image you create. What is online footprint? The content. You what? Post post you post online. Post. And the image you create. Right? What do you think? I agree. Okay, good. What about digital dirt? Well, I write people, but it's wrong. Is the only the applications and web pages that are inappropriate? Can yeah, you yeah. highlight it, please? Inappropriate online oh, content. Yeah, can you please highlight it? The Yes. Um, there inappropriate online 
content. So the digital material, it's part of it, right? But it's not the correct definition. Maybe we can say inappropriate online content. There. Now go ahead and read carefully all of the article, please, with a little detail. Let me know when you're finished, please. Are you finished? Okay, 10 more seconds. All right, I hope you read it. And now we have, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, great. First question. What examples of digital dirt can you find? Who can tell me what examples of digital dirt are in the article? For example, take a, taking a pictures when you are drinking some beverage. <laughs> can you can you highlight tequila the, the or wine? <laughs> can you highlight the answer, please? Okay. Um, um, Oh, wow. You typed the answer? Yes. 
No, can you highlight it? Ah, there you go. Yes. Ah, <laughs> Digital there is the photo accused her of promoting underage drinking. That's not the example. What is an example of digital dirt? Brute comments about you and your world or jokes. It could be an example. Posting Maybe. of photo promoting underage drinking. Right? Oh, okay. Yes. Posting of color jokes or rude comments about you on your wall. There you go. Is there more or is that it? What about bad mouth a current or previous employer online? Uh, and also teachers, professors, classmates, and coworkers. Can you highlight it, please? Yes. There you go. Good. Is there more? Okay, that's good. Next question. What was Miss O, I'm sorry, Miss S accused of? Promoting promoting Perfect. Promoting, promoting under its drinking. Mm -hmm. What is digital dirt causing? Can you repeat it, please? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. there. Sorry. What is digital dirt causing? Her teaching, uh, her teaching degree was denied. I think her teaching degree was denied, probably. Uh, sure, but that, uh, where is it? Her diploma was withheld, right? Uh-huh. Is that the answer to this question? Because employees are being fired from their jobs and students are having their college application rejected. Can you please highlight it? Yeah. Mm. There you go. Employees are being fired from their jobs and students are having their college applications rejected because <laughs> of digital dirt. There you go. Next question. Who checks your profile? Well, colleges and employers. Can you highlight it, please? Yes, here they are. Colleges and employers. So the complete answer is friends, colleges, and employers. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this. Check your understanding. Are the sentences true or false? Write to your F and correct the false statements. I'm sorry, sentences. Number one, Miss S was unable to graduate from college.
False. 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 What is the correct sentence? Oh, it's okay. We'll come back to that one. Number two. Her school said she was encouraging young people to drink. False. Number three, it's becoming more common for employers to check people out online. True. 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 Number four, 83% of job recruiters reject candidates with digital dirt. True. 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 And five, the article recommends unfriending people True. True. Five. I'm sorry. Six. The article suggests that you shouldn't join social network campaigns. False. False. All right. Now, what we got to do is correct the false sentences. Yes. Let me move your answers. Oh my God. So number one is false. Number two, false. Number three, true. Okay, check your answers, guys. Number one, Miss S was unable to graduate from college. You said it's false. What is the correct sentence? Miss S diploma was withheld after school. Yes. Miss S diploma, Miss S's diploma was withheld. So Correct sentence is? Mrs. S's diploma. Was with help. What about number two? A school administrators viewed the photo and accused her of promoting underage drinking. So is number two false or true? True. Yeah, actually it's true. Okay. So this one is true. Number three. <laughs> we reported that um, eighty-three percent of jobs recruiting travel are using internet. True or false? It's true. It says it's Searches increasingly to find out more about involved. candidates. We'll reach it. Candidates base it on the digital digital dirty they find. Right. So I guess we're working on two different ones, right? 
You oh, said three yeah, yeah. is true because three is over here. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Common for colleges and employers to look closely at online pictures and files. So yeah, it's true. Now let's go for number four. Eighty-three percent of job recruiters reject candidates with digital dirt. Is that true or false? A survey conducted by Execunet reported that 83% of job recruiters regularly use internet searches to find out more about candidates. So number four, is true or false? False. It's false. And the correct sentence is? 83% of the of job recruiters regularly use internet searches to find out more about candidates. There you go. Regularly use internet searches. find out about candidates. That's a big one. Okay. And number five, the article recommends unfriending people who post rude comments. True. Is that true or false? True. If you have friends who are always passing off color jokes, or rude comments about you and your role, then block their comments. And the correct sentence is? Mm, the article recommends. Mm, block the comments. Blocking. Blocking. Yes. The root comments. Uh, people's root comments. That's supposed to be an apostrophe. I'm not sure if it's clear. Oh, what did I do? This is an apostrophe, and this is the possessive s. So, blocking people's rude comments. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And number six, the article suggests that you shouldn't join social network campaigns. Is that false? Actually, I think it's true because it says instead of joining groups and campaigns with names, well, Yes, you should connect to a professional organization. So it's true. Instead of joining groups and campaigns, connect to a professional organization. Yes. So the correct sentence is? I mean, is true or false? True. True. It's true. And number five is false, teacher. It says. Two. Ah, yes, it's false. That's right. And number five, it's false. Perfect. Any questions, guys? No. No? Great. Let's go for the next one. What do you think of Mrs. S's story? Have you heard of similar cases? Which advice in the article do you intend to follow? Let's go in sessions. I will send you this. Uh, do you have a couple of ex F extra minutes, guys? Or you don't have any more time? Only yes. two minutes. 
So you want to do this activity right now or maybe tomorrow? To me, it's better tomorrow. Okay, then let's do it tomorrow. And let's have the class ended for right now. And tell me, how was the class today for you? Quickly no. as always, teacher. I'm sorry? <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> Very quick? Very fast? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, as always. <laughs> but interesting. Well, I hope it's, uh, it's fast and it's interesting. Is it helpful? Is sure. It helping? Yes. OK. What was the class about today? You don't remember? What did we see today? Well, different kinds of paths, simple paths, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Then about uh, things that we have learned. Well, life lessons. Life lessons. Yes. Okay. And now about, it was about uh, digital footprint and digital dirt. I, I hope that the terms are correct. Yes, that's right. Digital. Um, Online footprint. And Online digital, footprint. Yes, and digital dirt. Digital. Yes. Uh, what was the best part of the class and what was not good about the class? For me, I like the listening exercise. OK. Yes, me too. OK, guys. Well, we're finished for today. If you have no more questions, uh, thank you for your assistance. We didn't have the company of three of your classmates. I, I'm beginning to worry. So uh, we'll get all of them and hopefully they will join us tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.